This program has been brought to you in partnership with the American Press Institute. Hi, I'm Mary Owen, and I'm the Chicago Program Manager for the News Literacy Project. I was previously a reporter at the Chicago Tribune and the Detroit Free Press. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a tool you can use to check whether a photo is real, manipulated, or taken out of context. Ever hear the expression, seeing is believing? We usually say it when we witness something with our own eyes or when confronted with what looks like photographic evidence of an event. Photos can certainly be used to verify that an event did in fact take place. Over the years, photos have helped average people better understand world events, including wars, scientific discoveries, natural disasters, poverty, cultural practices, and countless notable occurrences. In the digital age, we've all become photographers, snapping photographic evidence of the world around us thanks to our cell phones and digital cameras. But the digital age has also made it really easy to alter pictures with Photoshop and other photo editing programs. This means that consumers need to develop a healthy skepticism when they encounter digital images. In other words, seeing a picture of something doesn't necessarily always mean that you should believe it. Fortunately, the digital age has also given us tools to help separate photo fact from photo fiction. Let me show you this interesting story about a frog photobombing a NASA launch in Virginia that showed up in my Facebook feed in September 2013. You can see the silhouette of the frog in this photo of the launch. I was skeptical because, as you might imagine, this frog could easily be added to the shot using digital image editor such as Photoshop. I decided to do more research, so this is what I did. I read through the New York Daily News story that accompanied the story in my feed and noticed that the story did not quote any official sources, but it does link to a page claiming to be NASA's Instagram feed. This account seemed like it could be legitimate. After all, there were plenty of beautiful pictures of planets and space posted here, but I still could not be sure that it was NASA's official page. So let me use this item to show you what to do to fact check an image you encounter on the internet. First, use Google reverse image to search for the image. You can also use a similar tool at tineye.com. Both websites essentially search the internet for photos that are similar to the one that you uploaded. They also find links that are associated with these images so you can explore where else they've been used across the web. By right-clicking on the image, you can copy what's called the image location. You see here it's the URL or web address of where the particular picture lives on the New York Daily News website. And then you go to Google, click on images, and then click on the little camera icon paste in the photo's location and press enter. In the case of the frog photo, Google scours the internet for links that have had this photo or one that is similar and brings us to a variety of other news sources that have more information about this photo, as well as a quote from a NASA official and scientist revealing that it is indeed an authentic photo that was not altered. In other words, unlikely as it may appear, this photo is fact not fiction. Unfortunately, no one can confirm that no frogs were harmed in the taking of the photo. Now, let's look at another story that popped up in my Facebook feed. It's an image of one of the most recognizable CEOs on the planet, Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg. It was posted by a friend of mine who grew up in Brazil. A little backstory here. In the summer of 2013, Brazilians were protesting increases in public transportation fares. In the picture, it looks like Zuckerberg is showing his support for protesters. That's weird, I thought to myself. Why would Zuckerberg, one of the most famous and recognizable CEOs on the planet, chime in on this issue? Naturally, I had to wonder if the image was real. Time to do some fact checking, and here's how. First, I searched Mark Zuckerberg's Facebook page, but I can't find it here which makes me more skeptical. Again, I check the photo by doing a reverse image search, and this is what I get. It looks like there's a photo showing Zuckerberg holding a sign, but it has nothing to do with Brazil. The photo has clearly been altered. The original photo ran with articles and a blog post after Facebook went public. You can see the picture was actually posted on Facebook's own Facebook page when the company reached a milestone of 500 million users worldwide. 
Zuckerberg was one of many Facebook staffers who took pictures of themselves with thank you signs. I think my friend may have also done some fact checking because she eventually removed the photo from her Facebook page. This kind of photo editing happens all the time. Here's a photo of Bill Gates that's been manipulated dozens of different ways. Here's another photo of President Obama that has been repeatedly altered. And here's a picture of former President Lyndon Johnson in his very own amphibious car. Well, it turns out that the last one isn't a hoax. President Johnson actually did own an amphibious car, but that's a whole other story. Photo fact checking, or photo debunking as it's often called, has become a trend on social media. A handful of Twitter accounts, including at fake astropics, do the heavy lifting for you by exposing fake photos and photos that are not properly credited, and they share the real facts with their followers. Sometimes they use the same techniques I just showed you in this video. By following these debunkers, you can keep tabs on what's real and what's not in the world of online photos. I hope these tools come in handy the next time you come across some images of questionable origins on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, or anywhere else on the internet. And remember, before you pass on a photo you find on the internet, always be sure to check it out.